Hey guys, and welcome back to Can Code. Today we are doing part 27 of our shooter game. And real quick, there was one glitch that I wanted to fix. When we're playing now, we can't actually buy any bullets. Whenever we buy any bullets, it resets them to zero once we start the game. And that's because what we're doing is we're changing the bullets by 100. Instead, what we want to do is we want to change the actual bullets by 100. But it, we want to change it by 100 if we have the normal gun. We want to change it by 200 if we have the next gun. So what we'll say is we're going to say if and then equals, and we're going to say if the costume number of the player, so we'll change this to player, say if the costume number of the player is equal to 1, then we're going to change the actual bullets by 100. But that, uh, but if, it, if, we're, if it's equal to 2, then we're going to change it by 200. So we're going to add that right there. And, yeah, right about right there. So, you might be wondering, well, couldn't we do this a lot easier? Couldn't we say we change the actual bullets by the costume number of player times 100? And that would actually work if this was, like, the last thing we were going to do before we actually published the game. But, we're going to have more guns. And the third gun is probably not going to, we're not going to want to get 300 bullets for it. It's probably going to be, like, some sniper or something where we're going to want to get the this amount of bullets. So we don't want to do that formula, instead we're just going to have this if statement, so it's easy for us to change other things. Now the thing here is we're going to have to do this to all of them. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit annoying, but we can do it. We're just going to have to come down here and say for the uh, bullet, the bullet of, or the barrel of bullets, uh, we're going to say change the bullets by 1250 normally, but... If we have the other gun, we're going to change it by 2,500. So we can delete this, and we are going to duplicate this and put this in right like there. And then we're going to drag this one down to the house of bullets. And this is the last one, so we're just going to say change the actual bullets by 15,000 or 30,000 if the cost number is that. So we're going to just delete this block, put that in right there. And that should work, so let's just try it out. We will just die here. And now, when we go to the shop and we buy the box of bullets, now, it does not give us any extra bullets here. It still shows it as 81. Now if we go back and play, now it sets it to 181. And so it's working, but it's kind of like working the reverse. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the bullets. And here when it says, uh, let's see, where is it? I guess it's the player that we want to go to. So set the bullets to actual bullets here. And this is when I receive play and set the bullets to actual bullets if this is true here. Um, so that works, but what we'll do is we're going to go to the collectible, or not, sorry, not the collectibles, the shop items here, and when we buy the bullets, what we're going to do is we're going to afterwards set the bullets, whoops, I don't know what I just did, I don't think I broke anything, um, set the bullets to the actual bullets, um, and, yeah, actually, yeah, it'll just be the actual bullet. So we're just going to duplicate this, put that right after the if-else, and we're going to do this in all of the, um, all of these three types of bullets that you can buy. So we'll add that there, there, and finally here. And, whoops, now we're going to try this again. So we're almost dead, we just, there we go, we go to the shop, we buy our box of bullets, and there we go, now it switches 100 from the points to the bullets, that's about right, and it keeps it here, and so we can still use our bullets. Alright, that's great. Now, the next thing I want to do before we stop this, is I want to add 
another button. I want it to be an achievements button. I have a bunch of plans for buttons that we're going to add, like a help button, a gun customizer button, a settings button. So I'm going to actually change the look of these buttons a little bit to make them look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to play it to see where they should be, and I'm going to make it look a little bit cleaner, I guess. Alright, now that I've done that, I'm going to add another button here. This is going to be the achievement button. So we'll go achievement button here, and now I'm going to change this to achievement. Okay, so we've got achievements there. Now that I've got achievements out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and first make the shop button go a little bit closer up to the play button to make it look a little bit neater. So we're going to go here to cost number which is two which is the uh, here I'm gonna say the cost number is equal to four because that's the back button uh, and first we'll go up here and we'll say change the Y to go to Y of 50 or something and then we start this closer but we'll say like 75 and that's too close so we'll say like 65 that's good I don't know if I want them to be touching or not uh, maybe a little bit closer, maybe like 70, uh, that's probably too close touching, so we'll say like 68, and that's probably pretty good. They're touching when we hover over them, so that looks alright. So then we're going to have another one of these, so we're going to go uh, copy that over, and we will add this to the very end, and this is going to say if the cost number is equal to 3, and we're gonna take this last one off the end uh, and we're gonna go here and we're gonna say everything is the same not 68 the first one was a hundred and it went down to 68 and that drop is a 32 so drop from 32 from here would be a 36 I think I could be mistaken but I'm pretty sure that's right and then wait not 0 .8, 0 0.8 seconds but we're gonna wait uh, 0.16 seconds because that's double so that this one comes up then this one comes up and then the final one Wait that play button should be working. All right, and then We're gonna say if touching mouse pointer everything will do the same thing except instead of Broadcasting the shop we're going to broadcast Achievement here, so we'll okay that and now we're broadcasting achievement So that's working, but now we got to just make it so that it actually pops up so we'll say here at the beginning, switch the costume to achievement button. And then uh, at the end game, we will also do the same thing. Achievement button. Uh, when the shop comes up, we want the back button only to come up. But when buttons is broadcast, then we also want the achievement button to come up. Now for that's shop and everything, but now we also want to say if when I receive achievement then we're gonna go out of the way uh, and let's just see how this works we've clicked the flag and now we have all three of these I must have been mistaken with that uh, value uh, 36 or whatever because uh, that did not go the perfect distance oh you know maybe it's because this is no I think it's in the right spot okay I don't know what the problem is but what if we did something like 38 that seems like it's exactly right, so I don't know what the problem was, or is, but um, that seems to be working. So now if we go shop, that comes out back, all those pop up. Um, whoops. So shop, that comes up. Achievements, nothing comes up. Shop. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a hide before it waits, and then a show after it waits. I feel like I've done this before, but it, it like didn't do it or something. You want to hide here and show here. I don't know. I feel like I did this. Very confused, but I think that makes it look a lot cleaner. All right, shop. That takes us to the shop. Back. We hover over play, and then we go to shop, and we click the shop. It seems to be working, but there were some weird glitches stuff that was happening. 
it doesn't seem to be happening right now, which is good. So I'm just going to forget about it, I guess. Um, but if we click play, it seems to be working. And then if we die, everything else should pop up. Okay, I've died. All of these have popped up. Go to shop. Yep. Uh, the achievements, when we click achievements, nothing happens. That's because I've not put in any achievements up yet. Uh, but I think maybe on the top we could have, like, uh, personal records and stuff, like how many waves, the most amount of waves I've you've survived and stuff. Uh, and so, I don't know, something like that. We, all, we can just uh, see about that in the future. But I've made that achievement button, so in the future we can add actual achievements. That's all that I have for now. And that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out part 28, which is right here on the end screen. I will see you next time.